Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I am showing you how to add Cloudflare Turnstile spam protection to your contact form. Now this may be a new one for you, but most likely if you're watching this video, you may have found it because you were looking how to add this specifically. So it's kind of like a, a CAPTCHA or like the Google ReCAPTCHA checkbox or it's that kind of thing, but it's a privacy focused new option, a fairly new option. And I'm going to show you how you can add that to the contact form using our Divi contact form helper plugin. All right. So you can go over to our blog post. I have that linked in the description when you're watching on YouTube, I have the descriptions and screenshots here. So in our plugin, the Divi contact form helper, we have several spam protection features because let's face it, you kind of need them. Um, there is a default, you know, cap, uh, what do they call, what do they call that? Where you like do the math with Divi and they have the Google reCAPTCHA version three, the invisible kind, but those are usually not, um, they're not people's favorite options. And so we've added several, we have honeypot, we have blacklisting, we have Google reCAPTCHA checkbox, and we also have Cloudflare turnstile, which is the one that I and most people are the most excited about. I kind of have this thing here, why use Cloudflare um, turnstile? And it's, well, I guess there's three reasons I have them listed here. That's privacy focused. Um, so if you're you know, worried about you know, GDPR, um, making sure that your um, tracking and all of that stuff is consistent with the law, Cloudflare turnstile is your best option for that. Um, also for user experience, I mean, honestly, it just works. Um, there's actually a couple options with it, but you know, you get that green success check, check mark that comes up, um, when it checks you and that's just a good user experience and it's modern and lightweight. It's super easy to um, implement here. Uh, it doesn't take, you know, any resources and everything like that. It's, it's a very good choice. Now, since this is something that is not just like a code snippet or something like that, you will need to be using our plugin. Um, as far as I know, this is the only option to add this. Um, and it's something we are very proud of to have in our plugin. So Divi contact form helper, get that installed, um, become a member on our site. You'll get access to all of our plugins. Now the next real step here, um, get your Cloudflare uh, site key and secret key. I guess I should say you do have to have a Cloudflare account. Um, so you'll be able to make that account. You can do it for free. Um, you can get the site key and secret key from that account. And, and there are instructions here. In fact, I linked to their official guide. I feel like that might be, be better. Um, you can click that. This opens up their guide. It's really helpful here. It's for new sites or existing sites. Basically, you're going to be going to that link, clicking on the sidebar that's going, it's going to say turn style, and then you know, you'll know you be able to add a new site. Really simple. And then once you get those, in fact, let me show you one more thing. And I'm gonna show you this. Uh, I found these testing keys, which is, I always love things like this because it makes it so much easier to, well, for me to do a tutorial, but also for testing. So look at this. There's these dummy site keys and secret keys. Um, you can find this, just Google like uh, Cloudflare turnstile uh, testing keys. So look at this, I can use this key and this key is always going to pass. It's going to like have the green check mark. And then this key is going to always block it. Um, and, and then the secret key, you can do the same thing. So it's kind of cool. Like, uh, I guess, I guess let's start. I'll use this one. I'll use this test key for always passes. So again, this is the site key. Now you go into Divi theme options. Okay. In fact, if you were here, right, you know, like Divi theme options, click on the tab added by our plugin, Divi contact form helper, and then scroll down at the bottom here. You can see it says the site key. Is that what I copied? Site key, right? Yeah. They have it as one word, um, but site key, I'm going to paste that there and then I'll get the corresponding secret key right here. And these say always pass. So, <laughs> All right, save changes. That's going to add it site-wide. And the reason we do that is so you don't need to be adding these into every single module. So what you do in the module now, well, you'll wanna probably already have your contact form, but if not, there you go. Um, scroll down, we add all these features here from our plugin. 
Spam protection, open that up. Um, we're gonna turn off the basic caption, that's what they call that. Right here, use Cloudflare turnstile. So that's added by our plugin, as well as Honeypot and the Google reCAPTCHA V2. So all I did here is enable the setting, right? That's all I do. So if I had, you know, 10 different forms, I would need to add it once, the site key and secret key here, right? That is going to be the same one that's applied in any module. So then in the module you're choosing, like, do I want to use this one or um, this one, for example, you know? So you will, that is a requirement simply because you have to choose like all the other settings to enable. So I enable that, let's take a look at it, see if it works. <laughs> all right, so here, look, you can see it's verifying success and it says testing only that you won't see that, but okay, that, let's do the other one just, just for kicks and giggles. All right, let's see now. Oops, all right. So there you go. Um, we don't want to see that. We want to see the path. Um, well, you want your spammers to see that actually. So there you go. I was using those keys there. All right. And like I said, we do have those other options if you prefer a different uh, spam protection option. And we do have the blacklisting, which is a little different where it's like you type in a keyword and you could have um, blacklisted keywords. So certain words, you want to just block it and send it to spam. Um, you could do that and then it will be, it'll show up in the spam list in your entries when you're saving the entries to the database with our plugin. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you did by a thumbs up and a comment and we'll see you all in our next video.